Today, let's learn about different foods using our crayon surprises. Let's start with the red crayon. I wonder what's inside. Wow, look at all those red foods. Let's see, what do we have here? Here's an apple. An apple is an excellent source of fiber. And it helps keep us healthy. Here's a tomato. Let's slice the tomato. Yum, here's a tomato slice. Ooh, I know. Let's put a sandwich together. We'll use some lettuce. Some turkey. Here's our tomato. Let's add one and two. Some onion. And we can add some cheese. Now for some sauce, we'll add some mayonnaise and some mustard. And here goes some pickles. Now add the top bun. And here's our delicious sandwich with our tomatoes. Here's a strawberry. Strawberries grow their seeds on the outside. And they go perfect in smoothies. Here's another delicious fruit. It's a watermelon. A watermelon has lots of black seeds on the inside. And here's a special fruit. This is a pomegranate. A pomegranate has lots of tiny kernels on the inside. They sort of look like red ruby gems. And here's a chili. Chilies are a type of pepper. And did you know they are fruit? Because they have seeds on the inside. Let's add our pomegranate, strawberry, watermelon, and apple to a blender. Now let's add some milk. And don't forget the lid. Now we can turn it on. These fruits will make a delicious smoothie. Let's get our cup ready and get our delicious smoothie inside. And now let's add the lid and a straw. And here goes our delicious fruit smoothie. Next is the orange crayon. I wonder what's inside here. Let's see, what do we have? Here's a vegetable. It's a carrot. A carrot's superpower is that it helps your vision. It supports healthy vision because it has lots of vitamin A. Carrots can be used in savory foods or sweet foods like carrot cake. Here's another orange fruit. It's a melon slice. This type of melon is called a cantaloupe. A cantaloupe and watermelon belong to the same family. And we have three slices of cantaloupe. Some common uses for cantaloupe is a fruit salad. Here's another fruit. We have one orange. And here's another orange. Oranges are the main ingredients in orange juice. Here's one, two, three, four slices of orange. Oh, wow! Oranges can also be peeled. Just like this. Here's a pumpkin. Pumpkins can be used to make foods like pumpkin pie. And here's a slice of American cheese. This cheese is orange. American cheese goes great with hamburgers. Let's add the bottom of the bun. Here's the beef patty, some lettuce, American cheese, tomato, and onion. Now let's add the top of our burger. And we've just made a cheeseburger. Our next crayon color is yellow. Let's see what foods we'll find in here. Here's the first one. This is a pear. Pears come in different colors. This is a yellow pear. What color do you think inside of the pear is? It's white. Here's a banana. Let's peel away the outer skin. And inside is white. The banana is soft and sweet and is a high source of potassium. That helps make our bones strong. What's this? It's a pineapple. A pineapple is a tropical fruit and it's very sweet. Here's two pieces of pineapple. And here's a fun twist. You can even add pineapples to pizza. 
Next, here's the green crayon. Let's see what foods we have inside here. What's this? It's a green fruit known as an avocado. Avocados protect your heart and they increase brain function. They usually have one large seed on the inside. You can find avocados in guacamole and you can even slice it and use it on toast. Here's broccoli. It sort of looks like a tree. You can add broccoli to macaroni and cheese or you can eat it alone. Broccoli is an excellent source of iron. Here's two pieces of broccoli. And here's a green vegetable with a surprise on the inside. Let's open it and see what we find. We have little seeds inside. This one has one, two, three seeds. This vegetable is known as peas. You can have several peas that grow in a pod. And here's a green vegetable known as a bell pepper. Now even though it's called a pepper, a bell pepper is not spicy. And it comes in different colors like red and yellow. Bell peppers have seeds on the inside. What else do we have? Here's a cucumber. Cucumbers help keep you hydrated. They can be used in salads or sandwiches. And what's this? It's lettuce. Let's open up the outer leaves. And here's the inside. It's full of more leaves. Lettuce is a leafy vegetable that we can use in salads. What color's next? It's the blue crayon. What are some blue foods we have here? Here's one. It's blueberries. And they're full of antioxidants. Blueberries go great with pancakes. Here's a blue popsicle with the number three. And what about this? Here's a blue ice cream with sprinkles. Ice cream and popsicles are sometimes foods. And here's a blue picnic basket with the number five. Hmm, what's inside? Oh, it's blue gumballs. We have one, two, three, four, five blue gumballs. And here's a blue fish. Fish is a healthy source of protein. Here's one slice of fish, two, and three. Our next crayon color is purple. What will we find in the purple crayon? Here's a vegetable. It's a purple cabbage. Cabbage also comes in a green color. The darker purple color of this cabbage means that it's full of antioxidants. That means it's full of healthy vitamins. Cabbage can be used in coleslaw. Here's another purple food. This is an eggplant. It has a spongy texture and seeds on the inside. Even though an eggplant is a fruit, it's often used in savory dishes. It can be grilled and even used in kebabs. Now here's a vegetable. It's a red onion, but the color is purple. Onions also come in yellow and white colors, and they can be used in all sorts of dishes. Here's some purple grapes. Purple grapes are used to make grape juice. They're also called conquered grapes or table grapes and can be used to make lots of jellies, jams, and baked goods. Our next crayon color is pink. Here are some pink foods. What's this right here? It's a dragon fruit. Dragon fruits are grown on cactuses and they're high in vitamin C. The outside of a dragon fruit is pink, but the inside, when you slice it open, is white and it has tons of tiny black seeds that you can eat. What else do we have here? It's a cookie and it has the letter P with pink frosting. Cookies are delicious, but they should only be eaten sometimes. And what's this? It's a pink donut. And another sometimes food is this pink ice cream. It must be strawberry flavored. What's our next crayon color? It's brown. Let's see what's inside the brown crayon. What foods can we find that are brown? Oh, look, here's an onion. 
Let's make some onion slices. Here's one, two, and three. Which of these brown foods are sometimes foods? Right! It's a cookie! A delicious cookie that Cookie Monster must want. Did someone say cookie? Oh, hi, Cookie Monster. Me smell cookie. Can we have it? All right, Cookie Monster. Here you go. Um, nom, 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 nom. So good. This is Kiwi. Did you know that Kiwis are named after the New Zealand Kiwi bird? Oh, what a surprise. The kiwi's brown on the outside, but green on the inside with tiny edible black seeds. And here's a potato. It's known as a starchy vegetable. And it's the main ingredient in french fries. Let's cut open our potato and prepare some french fries. Let's turn on our play stove and get our frying pan ready. We'll add some oil and our potatoes carefully. Be careful, it's hot. And our french fries are ready. Yummy! Our french fries are ready to eat. Wow, we learned all about our fruits and vegetables today. Thanks for helping out. See you next time.